Hey, hello. Welcome to the Hourglass. So we're going to tap into your person. We're going to see their truest feelings right now. Sagittarius season. Happy hello December. Hello, happy December. <laughs> mm -hmm, baby. I'm singing one of my favorite reggae tunes. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on with your person. Their truest feelings right now. I just need space. Give me space. A lot of you may be needing a, a little pause. Pause for the cause. It doesn't mean that this person stopped loving you. It doesn't mean that they're going to abandon you. We just need a little bit of space. And we should be okay with getting, giving each other a little space to cool down, to reflect, to restore strength, you know, within oneself. We shouldn't be so codependent on the other to like, you better stand up and fix this. You better do something to prove you love me. Like, come on now. Come on now, sometimes we need to be our own superhero. So let's see what they're going through right now, what they're growing through. A lot of my readings touch on what we're growing through as a, as, a, as a team, as a partnership. It's not about what they're feeling and what they're thinking all the time and, you know, what, what, how they view you, how they view the relationship. You know, as a, as a Libra, I was going to say as a Libra or as a leader, <laughs> I'm really into the cellular realm or the cellular level of partnerships of love it's like i want to know the cogs in it i want to know how it how it works so i could troubleshoot it you know what i'm saying so let's see libra problem solving libras aries rising scorpio venus that's me that's you welcome aboard and welcome to everybody who enjoys the way how i read tarot big up on us if you're happy to be alive, despite of what's happening, comment in a comment box. I'm alive. Ow! <laughs> All right, so let's see about your person. Someone feels like you're repelled because they have been with other people sexually. It's like they feel like you're disgusted with that or they feel like you would never be in that like lovable vibe with them. As you once were because they've been with other people. Hmm. Let's see what your person growing through spiritually. It's like they can't run from this um this lesson. So if they were trying to bypass or ignore spiritual enlightenment or awakening, they can't anymore. Holy shit, some of y'all get a stubborn person. Under the deck we have surrender your addictions. So this could be like, let me read it for you. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with a healthier alternative. If you're testing or you're tensing up, take it or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This would help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. You see how this person does not want to look? They don't want to look, bubbles. This person may have an addiction to you. Like you gave them a high. You replace another addiction though. So maybe this person was addicted to attention from others. Being chased. Some of you, this person is a workaholic. They can't seem to think or focus on anything right now, but what's going on? What actions need to be taken to heal? They're observing you or they're gently like, I feel like they don't want to look at you, but they're looking. Because I made you look. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else is going on. These cards wants to talk, but not want to show itself. So that could be what it is too. This person is not wanting to show what they're dealing what cards? They're very rigid, cold. Hmm. They could be addicted to your sex. They're trying to deny that, being stubborn about how much they may need you. Some of you are dealing with basers, addicts. All right. This person may be choosing that life. Maybe you're trying to communicate. Maybe you're trying to be more gentle, more compassionate. Let's see what's going on. What's your person growing through right now? 
They're fighting their light, light on dark sides. They have an addiction of wearing a mask or pretending to be something other than what's going on with them. We have ruins, things you no longer need are falling away to make room for the love you deserve. <laughs> we have needs. If emotional needs aren't being met, it's time to re re reassess. Touch is important too. Yeah, somebody may be addicted to your touch, your sex. When they feel overworked from whatever life is dishing them, they feel like they need you close. I'm seeing like a lot of cuddling, spooning. I'm a big spoon. <laughs> and they're hiding it. They're hiding that they have needs. I'm needy or I need you. They want to help you to communicate more too with them. It's like, let's talk about what's bothering us. Let's talk about... What these issues are that we're using whatever to cope with, they want to find a healthier way. They want to take action. Somebody needs your touch. Somebody could be a sex addict, you know, hopping from bed to bed. And they're feeling like they need love. Somebody needs to do some sort of cleansing. If you have been having sex with a whole lot of people, like I said, I felt like you were repelled or somebody's repelled. They feel, I'm belching again. This is an emperor. This is a very strong personality. <laughs> Excuse me. Ew. Spiritual burps. <laughs> this person has a strong, stubborn side. They have their vices. I feel like this is a sex addict. They may have taken on multiple sexual partners just to satisfy what they missing from you some of you are like i don't want to hear that fuck i i hear you i hear you but i feel like they're beginning to heal from that they're surrendering their addictions because they have emotional needs that are not being met and they realize how important that is they want to be more yielding they're trying to curve their stubbornness I, I want to be better for you. I don't know. I'm getting that song. That's my favorite song. I'd rather be with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. Mm hmm Maybe a next time. You know, in that song, it was like, maybe a next time. <laughs> tarot, tarot, tarot. Hmm. This person is stubborn, but it's like, I don't know if it's ego and pride, but it's like this old house. Is that a song? This old house or something? Why is it three of wands? Hey, looking back. Looking back. I was addicted to keeping all these people around. This could be someone that's very showy. I feel like if this is someone that travels or they go to a fancy restaurant, that's a lot going on on their, their, their stories. Not necessarily their page, but there's a lot going on in their stories. They could be addicted to social media, mindlessly posting or showing off. This could be a routine. Some of you, this person could be far away. I'm hearing long distance relationships are never easy, but it's like a different level of love. It's like, I'm trying to love you even though there's space between us. It's like someone will have, okay, so someone, your person may have had secret addictions that they were involved with trying to cope with the needs of you. Some of you are like, fuck that shit. They were once happy with their choices, but now they're not. And they're stubbornly trying to act like they're still happy with what they're doing. Say what, lady? <laughs> That's an old reggae tune. Singing melodies. Say what? When he was talking about another man's loss. A man's loss is another man's gain. And I'm here to heal your pain. Ah! Traveling abroad, wanting to come home, but doubt you'll let them in. What is this? Someone may live in a an abandoned 
community or somebody's old house somebody's going to their old house because that's why i keep hearing old house something 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 old house what the fuck is that i don't even know what that is going to an old place i'm you know what i just caught in my freaking memory so when i was a little girl living in the islands the school used to take us on um field trips around certain ruins in slavery days so we had a lot of sugar cane mills and i remember going to the beautiful island on saint john going through all those uh like mountains and and then you finally reach a destination and it's like you have like this different vibe it's like i i could remember going to these ruins and he could hear the people that was once there it's strange and i remember telling one of my classmates and she was like what and i'm like yeah you don't feel it like you can't hear what was going on like your imagination can't like see what was being done in these like sugar mills damn so that mean i was on my shit from a young age elementary hey big up to those who visit the lovely island of saint john u.s virgin islands the vi is nice i'm waiting for clarity so things may feel like it has ruined or you're no longer trying to um i feel like some of you are no longer trying to reassess what's going on with you and this person and they want to know if everything is ruined. You deserve love, but it could be the distance is so far away. They may have thought that this was freedom. Like, giving into all these addictions. It's like, it's like you're not right down the street. You're not like a 20-minute drive. So, you know. But now it's like still trying to fool oneself like this is the life but it's not because their needs emotional needs is not getting met and that's where you guys come together somebody doubt that this could have grown but it has grown like spiritually and emotionally somebody's third eye is like blocked we have five of wands could be a fire sign i'm seeing a lot of partying party favors know the difference between a plaything and a partner waiting for clarity some of you the work that you put in with this person paid off you you left your mark i'm hearing that song by drake you're a good girl and i know it you're a good girl and you know it feeling intimidated let me tell you something nobody's ever intimidated by you i don't give a fuck if you work in you get like this six um figure job you smart all of that shit i feel like this person wants you to be a, in a particular mold for them to kind of like lower their shield the thing is the both of you may clash with what and how you go about expressing or asking for your emotional needs this person is suppressing anger it's a bar fight so maybe some sort of fight or somebody's watching fighting reels i feel jealous over you i feel jealous about you because i i'm not there to answer the call i'm not there to give you the love you deserve and this could also be that you didn't fit in this person's life or both of you it was a challenge to to like merge worlds or fit each other in each other's life i'm seeing long distance and somebody's punching the air, having to say goodbye. It's like that last hug, that last cuddle. I'm trying to find healthier alternatives to cope with my needs. But it's tough without your touch. Some people could be envying your person. I don't know if, you know, your person could be acting all stubborn. But when you're not around, they be telling anybody who's willing to hey. And, you know, people around them could be jealous Making other people jealous of what we got. Mm -mm. Somebody is not trying to compromise. And they compromise the situation. So it could be that somebody has not learned the true definition of compromising in relationships. And because they refuse to do that, it kind of busts down or broke up, compromised themselves. 
somebody seeking a fight. I feel like this person wants to be confrontational with you. Or their stubbornness leads to confrontation. We have the magician. Are you guys dealing with a manipulator? Or they're trying not to manipulate... This person feels like they're a master um, manifester. They feel like they're a warlock or what is that fellow's name? Arthur and Merlin. So this person may feel like they have that Merlin spirit. Something about an exciting challenge. Or it's like. It's like they fiend for your touch. It's an exciting challenge, but they're wary of the weight. And sometimes, you know, there it's like I'm only human. I have my needs. I show you have your needs too. So they could be doing what they're doing and figuring you doing it too. But that's manipulation. They're manipulating themselves. Ego clashing. Why is the magician here, please? Fully aware of the needs not being met. Some of you may be geniuses. Some of you may have um, ways to help this person, but they may be stubborn to ask you. It's like they manifested everything, but you missing. Your touch is missing, and that's really important to this person. Trying to figure out how they could use their uh, majestic manifesting uh, skills through visualization to kind of pull you in. Thinking about all the things that they could be doing with you. It's like I want people to see you with me. They want to take action, but it's like stubborn. They're tensing up. We have the two of pentacles. Let me see if I have my two of pentacles notes because I did channel that this was a jumper card. What's going on with your person? I don't know which way to which way to go. They're trying to drop some shit. Hey, you see this person juggling? They're a juggler. They're juggling. I'm jugging. So they may be overcommitted to some of these addictions. I feel like it, not as they used to because their needs are not their emotional needs are got, not getting met. I'm also getting that they may be turning down opportunities, like dropping a ball with some certain people. I'm hearing that they're hiding out or they ghost certain people to keep an eye on you to work on this manifestation. So a lot of times when we are like warlocks, shamans, which is whatever the fuck you want to label them on, you need like this laser focus to manifest things. Some people say, oh, put it out there and just drop it. But when you work in on a ritual, when you want something to happen, you're on it like white and rice. And I feel like this is what this person is doing. It's like they had these, uh, these addictions, had them in a chokehold, had them ego clashing with you, all this stubborn shit. But it's like possibly in secret. They figured out what's missing from the manifestation formula, the law of attraction, L-O-A, L-O-A. I don't know why I'm getting like Pisces, very dreamy, overloaded schedules. So the both of you may have overloaded schedules. Communicating maybe like phone tag or something. They turned on an opportunity. And now I feel like it's no longer in alignment. It's no, it's no longer on the table. So what? You revoked. And that's why they feel things are ruined. I'm hearing, I'm choosing one thing to focus on. I'm giving it my undivided attention because I want to reach success. You may not be seeing that. You may be seeing what they want you to see because they're so fucking stubborn. It's like I'm waiting. I'm hearing a red light, green light, one, two, three. Red light, green light, one, two, three. And then you look back and everybody's like, freeze. <laughs> it's like when you look at them, they freeze. Or when you look at them, they ain't looking. They doing their thing, but they looking. Confirmation, the dog outside barking. They want something affordable. I'm hearing, I want to spend time and energy, but I want to do it in an affordable way. Reassessing the, their priorities. There goes that dog barking. Ooh, judgment. Are you karma for this person? It's a karmic reckoning with the ego clashing and the stubbornness. Eh? 
oh, they have karma for what they manifested. Their strategies, something about three, five, eight. Eight strategies or three strategies they have. It, it rep bad karma. So whatever strategies they were doing, scheming, they got bad karma. Hmm. But they coming out of that. They coming out of that mold or you broke out of that mold. So born again. We have a born again. A born again warlock. Changing always. Looking for healthier alternatives. Mm. You know what? They feel like they're pulling in or are manifesting really chaotic, compet comp 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 competitive spirits or people. <laughs> I'm hearing I'm a man with a higher purpose. <laughs> okay. A woman with a higher purpose. Change of heart. Change of heart on these addictions. I'm hearing I'm I'm good. I'm I'm cool on those addictions. Uh, my suddenly my old my what something about suddenly my old highs is my new lows. Hm. They got a revelation. They they make a decision or. They had a revelation and they know what to drop or they suddenly know what to do, but they could be a little bit fatigued or they're battling fatigue or they're battling, they're battling demons or addictions that you ain't seeing. They're, they wanted to call you, but they're afraid because of your truth, what you might say. So maybe they want to confess, get some things off of their chest, but they don't know what you're going to say. Feeling very competitive. They could be hanging around a lot of what's next people. They could be traveling a lot or this is a traveler. And it's always like what's next? What's next? Instead of staying in the present moment. This could also be someone running away from accountability. Closed off from it. But karma is going to get them. So if your person was creating distance to avoid accountability. For all this crud. Karma is not skipping them and knows where they're at. Even if they jump in from plane to plane or hub to hub. Whatever the fuck they doing, karma knows where they're at. Karma's, karma got a GPS and their ass. Okay? Something about being alive. They feel alive when they were on these shits. They could also have a very competitive spirit. And that's their addictive behavior right there. They struggle with being supreme anything that stimulates empowers them in some way so these addictions could have been empowering your person being manipulative having power over people or just manipulating people into doing what they say that was empowering them but look we have big fight going on here now they struggle to provide and feel in some kind of way about it Hangman with the eight of wands. So they infatuated with you, but they're being made to keep away from you because there is a karmic cycle that they need to close up or they need to come and tell you some shit before some sort of forgiveness could happen. Or they're practicing forgiveness because of the shit they were manifesting or manipulating. Why is the eight of wands had rushed energy? This could also feel like they were going too fast with infatuation, but there's a lot of clarity happening fast. This feels like shooting stars, a lot of downloads. They're getting a lot of clarity and downloads from the judgment. They're afraid of what you're going to say. They're afraid of your judgment on them or the judgment you placed on them, or they want to open up about how these addictions had them in a chokehold, but they don't want you to judge them. Don't call me out on my name like that, right? They want to approach direct or when you approach them directly, they freeze. Hangman energy. They're looking at things from a new perspective to try and see what could be done. Some of you, this is testing. They're testing something. If I drop this or if I stop doing that, this happens. It's like... 
I don't know, shit testing in a way. With the hangman's energy, this person, they're very scattered. I feel like they don't know where they're going in life right now. They're, they're working on clear and focus. Something about their goals. They want to move forward swiftly too. They may have had recent news that spark a lot of passion. Or they ignored an opportunity to have a passionate affair. They, they, I feel like they rejected a call or you rejected a call. I'm getting that some sort of passionate affair did not go anywhere. Or this is how they feel about you and they're like stubborn to admit that it's because of them. It's because of their addictive ways, their competitive habits, jealousy, stop them. I realize what... I realized I was focusing on the wrong things. Something about objectives. They realize your objective. Hmm. <laughs> this person is getting some. I'm hearing double whammies. So all of this addiction drained their spirit or their soul. And now they're trying to nourish it. I'm hearing reformed or they're being made. To, is like the most high the ethers is like sit your bum ass down. Because this is like a bum ass energy. Yeah, this is bum-ass energy. You know what I'm saying? Bum mentality, bum energy. So they could be dropping toxic habits or addictions that's connected to toxic people, like calling it out. It's like, man, I can't fuck with you. I can't go in that abandoned building and smoke that crack. And their people is like, what? Who the fuck you think you are with their high asses? I don't know. That could be a scenario. It doesn't have to be. Something about encounters. Trials and tests with the magician. Hmm. Five of Wands. Don't engage in conflict. It's draining. The enemy are closer than you imagine. What? That's what I got with the Five of Wands and the Magician. So maybe that's why they're in the Magician energy because they have a lot of snakes or they're fucking with a lot of snakes. Then they got to be strategic, testing. Let's see what else is going on. The sun, egos at play, <laughs> Clara's day. It's like a fun person, bubbly, could be high on coke. Sniff, sniff, wipe your nose. What? Your nose is bleeding up. Excuse me, I'm starting to wheeze. Hmm. Some of you, the road has opened for your person. After they go through that judgment, after they kind of hit a new vibration, when their heart has shifted, I feel like finding my way back home. Say what, lady? You bring them a lot of happiness. I feel like you're the first person that ever made them feel happy. It's like a natural high. It's like when that sun, when you're sunbathing or having a suntan, you feel like so glorious, you know? Charming attitudes. Friendship. I wish we were more than friendship. I wish we were closer. Okay. Empress energy. You make them happy. You make them feel a way that they never felt before, but they're too stubborn to admit that. It's like, if the Empress have to know about my shady ways, what would she think? They need unconditional love from you, or you have taught them what unconditional love could be. Look at that. A mama and a babe. It's, I'm hearing, don't, don't mother me. So this person may want to be nurtured or held by you, but they don't want you to mother them. The lovers. <laughs> You're the divine empress. And they know it. It's clear as day who you are. They may not know you as a divine feminine. But maybe they call you empress. That's my empress. She helps me to mature. At first I wasn't sure. So I had to play all these fucking shit testing games. But I realized... That you're a beacon of light and you make my grass grow and you open the road. Oh. <laughs> mm, better than my mama. Maybe they call you mama. Hey mama. What are you doing today mama? 
sweet pet names. Oh, you thought this was sexual. Yeah, they thought that they could probably hit it and quit it. And maybe you kind of, maybe they didn't know how powerful you were. And maybe when everything fell apart, it's like they were peeking from behind the wall that they built between you and them. Choosing their addictions. They built a wall. Didn't want you to come close to see what. But this person may be peeking over their wall or they peeking over your wall. Why is the lovers, hey? Very different, but compliments each other. This person may have thought that you were too different, but you actually compliment them. They may be facing a lot of um, aban unresolved uh, issues. They're, they're dealing with a lot of unresolved wounding. All right? You're helping them to mature, but you're not mothering them. You're not coaching them. You're not their therapist. They could also feel like you move through the earth. Like you have say over the earth. I'm hearing, uh, I'm trying, I'm learning to repair myself before I could repair this. I'm trying to build trust. Bring me closer or come back together. After a rapture with the, um, the judgment, small gestures of love daily. Learn to listen first. What are they listening to? Hold on. Let me see about my notes. Ooh, they feel like. Your, your name is written on their heart. All right. So what, what I was getting to, I'm hearing casual dating. So maybe this person wanted no strings attached. Nothing serious, but they want to get to know you. What is the guidelines of this connection is what I heard. Is this karma suffering? Because not all karma is... Meant to make you suffer, you know what I'm saying? But it could have disappointments. Okay, so they were skipping around or brushing off some sort of um, spiritual. They were bypassing a spiritual um, leveling up. Rejecting a spiritual awakening with the judgment. I feel like they, <laughs> they, they just focus on you. And we could feel like su like a suntan, like sunbathing. You're just like, whoo, I feel so glorious. Mm. I feel like you're not taking anything personal. With the mother to the babe, is like, you know what? You're going to live and learn. I'm not taking it personal. Clueless. Four of Pentacles. Have a lot of things they want to say, but they're sitting on their hands. Or a lot of things they want to do, but they're sitting in their hands. Four of cups. Oh, somebody's having a pity party. I don't want to be invited to that shit. <laughs> they having a pity party. They feel like they lost you. My princess gone. <laughs> far, far away. Is that John Mason? <laughs> Feeling vulnerable, four of cups. Thinking about when you were giving up that sweet love. Sweet love. <laughs> yeah, they're thinking about how they dismiss that. They put that on hold. They put that to the back burner to deal with what they thought was empowering them. Now they stuck with that shit. A fool that's leaning on his own misunderstanding. I'm hearing relax, don't do it. What is this about? So they're having a lot of clarity. A lot of clarity. And they're too stubborn to like pick themselves up. It's like, oh, well, my loss. I created this misunderstanding and, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm scared that if I follow this yellow brick road, I'm going to lose what I have, even though it's ruins that I'm holding on to. Like, what? Something about you healed a wound from their teenage, their teenager frame, the inner boy. Okay, so your person may be working on healing inner child wounds. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. I'm growing out of a survival paradigm reason. You're the reason. This karmic cycle may have last two years. This person was brain fog for two years. Huh? 
they see you connecting to your holy ancestors in this karmic cycle. They recognize. They recognize that they may not be safe for you. And that's why they hold back, but they're still holding on to what you guys have energetically. They're becoming aware that they need to be stable. To have someone like you in their world, I'm getting is only through the most high job I was able to get you. They're thinking about it. Blessed love. They still have a need. I'm still needing you. You help them to establish boundaries with these addictions. So whatever you set in place, I feel like you lead by example, Divine Feminine Empress. It's like, you're not about to play with me, right? And you did what you did here. You know, if you're afraid to leave one point to go to the next point, if you're afraid to take your walls down across this bridge, then that's what it is. I have to accept that. Very accepting, very compassionate, life-giving, ever-flowing. So, you know... You may have like this mother's instinct to accept people for what they are, but you're not standing still. Some of you are getting a lot of guidance. You're very well connected to angelic beings, to the spirit realm. And it's like you can't let somebody's insecurities burden you. It's like it's not in your design. So you're flowing. You could have had a makeover or you, you dramatically change. And they just sit there and think about... Oh, when my empress or a baby doll, something they're calling you, were offering this love, offering your heart. They were like all stingy, stingy with their time. Now that you put that boundary on that ass, you may have created a sacred space. And this person can't enter until they do that judgment um, walk, that atonement walk, firm boundaries and maintaining it. And they're like, oh, I hurt you. And now you put up this wall. And now I can't get to you. Poor me. Completely oblivious. Or they don't want. They're stubbornly ignoring what they did to make you react that way. So you're pushing them to focus on what they're doing. I'm also getting that your person with the magician energy this effort, right, with the hangman, every time they get in a jam, they seem to pray or they call on their ancestors to wiggle them out. Well, hey, what? Not all ancestors is going to be assisting your person, especially if they keep repeating a karmic cycle. There's silence among the light right now, and your person is like, hello, hello, I'm praying. I'm praying to my ancestors under the tree. Why are you guys not giving me what I need? And it's like radio silence. <laughs> some sort of omen omen with the angel some sort of electric anomalies or somebody some some sort of pet acting clean names coming through yeah it's like you already break a cycle you healed you pass a temptation there's no veil with the empress because after the high priestess is the empress the veil is already gone it's done it's it's the shit never exists when we're in Empress energy. You look like a lady. Ba -dum, ba -dum. You look like a lady. So you a fucking lady. You know what I'm saying? And this person <laughs> this person don't have no choice but to outgrow a lot of shit they were doing. But what if the Empress has to know what I was doing? You, the empress already know, bruv. So let's talk about addictions. Your person under this fucking tree is starting to peel back layers. This could be addiction to pain pills. This could be addiction to sleep aids. Bro, whatever it is. It could be drinking. But the drinking brung the opposite. Maybe they drank because they wanted to feel heavenly. But they end up feeling like hell. Maybe they drank for confidence and they end up being more doubtful. This person is possessive and it's through you. You're helping them to peel back these painful layers. They want your attention real bad. They want this attention real bad. I'm doing what's best for me right now. They're ignoring you. They could be acting like they're paying attention or giving other people's attention. 
but there's a hole in both of y'all's heart or there's a hole in this person's soul i can't love others when i'm empty inside bro loud and motherfucking clay i can't love others when i'm empty inside this is an attention seeker this is an attention whore it's like yeah don't don't bad me up don't be mean to me because i'm addicted to other people's attention and validation that's why i come off goofy and intense and bubbly I'm hearing get off my shit. You need to get off my shit. So maybe they recently um, overcame something, hey, and they're celebrating it or they seem like they're celebrating life or like unbothered again with the spiritual bypassing, with uh, dismissing spiritual awakening. They're acting like they're unbothered. They want the attention of the empress. What are they doing about it? They hope that you recognize something and you're proud of them. I'm hearing set a trap with the magician. Why is this person so tricky? They're still being very strategic. I still got more maturing to do. That's what they say. These obstacles. Something about victory being there. They feel like they're getting closer to you. And this touch. Okay, so they say it. I have a healthier way of doing this. I'm being strategic because it's like a war mission. This person is fighting battles that you don't have no idea about. They succeeded with a few of them. They crossed to the other side. Some of them may be out of their comfort zone right now. Or you give them a brand new feeling and they don't, they don't have a direction. Hangman with the chariot going around in circles. You're on a fucking hamster wheel out of here i'm hearing winners confident charisma char charismatic compassionate that's what they want to look like but they don't have divine conscientiousness it's lacking here it's more about the body my physicality or something like i'm too sexy for my shirt too sexy yeah yeah okay so <laughs> moving away from that this person could also be rebooting their brain chemistry. So sobriety, they could be giving up an addiction. And this is an ongoing process. And every time they win, they, they kind of like celebrate themselves baby steps. But they're celebrating every time uh, they, they drop an addiction. They want you to know that it's no quick fix or you're trying to show them it's not a quick fix. Hey, something about they just gain an incredible reward because they moved out they fought through something y'all this is the gladiator you know when the gladiator revealed himself and everybody was like um what what, what was his name maximus the merciful maximus the merciful right the stars in alignment yeah so the stars in alignment is written in the stars is already written that you mine you know what i'm talking so they want to rebuild trust, unconditional love or unconditional trust, honesty, but it's hard work. They know it. It's no quick fix. All right. I'm hearing retab, retab. These motherfuckers went back to that tab. I'm just playing, but it could be completing a detoxing. Somebody could have been in rehab or that song by Rihanna rehab. Hmm. They want you to know that they're starting to love on themselves and it's the beginning of a lifetime of recovery. But they still need your touch. Golden touch with the sun. Yeah, look at them. They say whatever they have to offer you, it may be flirtatious. We have the ten of wands learning to say no. And that could be you. You put down this person's insecurities. Maybe you were like, you know what? We have the king of swords so thinking thinking man this could also be the praying man or again being very strategic i look at the king of swords as fighting silent battles internalizing all of this wounding internalizing all this weariness this could also be a person that gave a lot of their good side to a lot of the wrong things and they're very very wary fatigue i want to flirt with you come hop in my car i'm gonna make you a star 
ain't no one night stand are you crazy this is more than lust this is more than love i was infatuated with you before yeah something about they trust the wisdom of your soul because you're connected to holy ancestors maybe their ancestors is whispering to their soul i'm finally following my heart i'm finally loving on myself page of cups they want this fun loving trusting energy between the both of you they're very lusty you know spicy ain't nothing gonna change about that you turn them on your touch may be warm you create a spark you create a fire within them i'm hearing that they want to lay up on your your lap they want to rest their head on your womb your pelvis want to hear your heartbeat thinking about all those great times they may have spent with you but they did not want to commit they did not receive your your cup of love or your heart it's like that it's like that scenario of the gladiator going through all of that trials and testing and preparing, you know, for, for him to be a different type of warrior, to fight for a different cause. That's what I'm feeling going on with your person. They're dealing with problems head on, overcoming it, some shit you ain't seeing. So they're fighting some shit in their reality to, to come up clean with you because I'm hearing coming up clean, I'm hearing that you align this person to their highest potential. Hangman could talk about potentials too. Daydreaming, fantasizing, Piscean energy. Every sign is welcome. I'm getting that they have a profound vision. They had a profound vision. They know it comes from the heart, heart to heart communication with uh, the page of cups Div tuning into divine guidance so you left this person to tune into their own divine guidance something about bringing peace i'm understanding this life experience and it's bringing me peace it's a lot of intense emotions they're fighting their stubbornness persistent they could be persistent some of you this is soft obsession i'm gonna get you tonight yeah i'm gonna get you yeah i'm gonna take you home tonight mm -mm. Let's see what little messages they want you to know, hey. This flirtatious energy of the Page of Cups. I'm lusting. I'm infatuated. It's like they can't get enough of you. Could be working on their manifestation skills as creative problem solving now. Breaking down some sort of way of thinking. Updating their playbook. Being more adaptive or flexible with you. I never loved anyone the way that I love you. That's probably surprising to this person. I thought I saw another card flip. Yes, yeah, not. Yeah, they love you. I'm hearing they love you more than life or they love you to death or the love that they feel for you is bringing them alive with the sun card. They want to be alive. Maybe before you're just built again, spiritual, spiritual burps. Maybe in the past, this person was empty and they were using addictions to feel alive. But you took that away from them. You delivered them with the judgment on that part. What is it with the judgment and the uh, page of cups that they're coming through? I'm on my way. I'm hearing, I just can't wait to be king. <laughs> Okay, they want to be king of your life, queen of your life. You are the one and only. You rule their heart. And I feel like their love is as deep as the ocean for you. And, you know, they're hoping something about their, they're hoping that their rivers connect to your ocean. Or they're hoping that this river that they're on, emotional journey, whatever. They're hoping that this river they're about to uh, float in. I feel like. They're going to enter a river. This could be their emotional past. This could be something that's going to purge or purify them. But they're going to enter the river. And they may start to fight it, the current. But they're going to learn to float. And they're hoping that this river takes them to you. They're hoping that this river leads them to you. Could be in a canoe, a boat. That could be a spiritual symbolism that I'm speaking on. And that could be what's the overcoming. I'm connected to a higher truth within me. When they give up this addiction, they're going to now tap into the self that they were abandoning. 
They're giving in to their emotional needs. They're no longer denying it or being stubborn about it. What else do they want you to know, love? What is this Ten of Wands? I'm carrying my own burdens. So some of you may have told this person, stop, no, I'm out of here. Stop being clean. Stop, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. Trying to stop trying to make them happy and believe in themselves. Maybe you pulled away your motivation. You're the one and only. So the cards are repeating because the transmission or the message is closed. This person, this is doubly confirmation that they want you to know that you have their heart. They're battling some internal shit here. They may still like attention from people. You know, they still got it. Let's try it again. I'm being nosy. <laughs> Ten of Wands. They're persistent. They're persistent. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how uncomfortable it gets, they want you. They're going to continue to carry these burdens. If they have to, they're going to continue to push until I could see you again. We both need time to heal. That was the hangman. This shit is not going anywhere until the both of you do the work. You may be a little bit more advanced, but there are some things that you need to work on. I'm also again that this person, not everybody's going to return or not everybody is going to show up healed. Sometimes we have to get together. We have to get together. We are family. We have to get together to heal each other. We have to get together to understand emotional needs, to kind of like suit that. That's what God made us to do. That's why we have so many people in the world, so many relationships. I'm hearing heal the world, make it a better place. <laughs> All right. So you guys could be raising the vibration of humanity with this love, divine love, no matter who I am with. Oh, I'm sorry. X pool up. <laughs> No matter who I'm with, my thoughts always lead back to you. As the whispers, the heart knows what it wants. And even if they're stubborn and acting unbothered, I could give a fuck, I could care less, their heart wants you because it's a part of their emotional needs. And a lot of time when we lock off our heart, when we do not obey, we run into a lot of external addictions that kills us that's killing us inside some sort of sweat i'm hearing cold turkey they sweating it out or they're working and they sweating or there was some sex sweat maybe if you guys did the nasty there was sex sweat that was exchanged that tied y'all maybe that's the first time they ever bust a motherfucking sweat maybe when they've been with you that the first time they felt their fucking heart you know what i'm saying they felt their heart <laughs> they probably thought they were getting a heart attack oh my god please forgive me i know i messed up of course you did but what are you doing to to uh suit it out what are you doing to re rebuild trust or what are you doing to restore trust hey what is this ten of wands i never expect to fall in love with you so quickly hmm i'm hearing i'm promising you i'm promising you I hope our path will cross again in the future. So they're hoping that they're doing all this work and it's going to lead you right. They, they're hoping that when they jump in that river, that is going to lead them right to you. And that's purification. That's not fighting the current anymore. That's not fighting what we want. And I'm also hearing your love is like that. You see how a river's current could erode a rock? I feel like your love has eroded a lot of this shit, a lot of this bum ass energy. A lot of this immaturity, a lot of this sexual addiction, a lot of, I, I want that body, that body, I, I just need that body. Maybe for a long time, that's what they were telling themselves. It's just sex. I just need to have sex and maybe I'll get over you. Hmm. Hell nah. You're like embedded in this person's heart. It's like all them, all them tats, all them whomever in their dms but you embedded in their heart their mind always gets back to you you're, you're their one and only so it doesn't matter who's showing them whatever tits nudes it's like ugh. can't believe i wanted that can what, what what was what was i on 
when I was giving my body away so recklessly. Like, <laughs> they're trying to figure out what the fuck. So healthy alternatives your person is working on because they very much need you in their life. And it's nothing wrong with needing someone. It's nothing wrong with being clean. If that what helps you function, if that's what's in your heart, if that's that divine love that you feel. I'm hearing you broke open this person's heart. You push them to listen to what their heart was always telling them. By your silence, your silence is golden with the sun. <laughs> You, you push them to connect with their higher truth within them. And there's profound insights. They're processing things better. They're functioning better. Divine wisdom is connecting us more deeply with unconditional love and higher truth. Wow. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. I'm hearing somebody's soul is surrounded by light and truth. This could be you. You raise yourself out of darkness of ignorance. You have principles that sets you free. And that's why you have like that light and truth. Even if you're a shadow worker or you just associate more with dark, darker side of things, hidden, hidden deep things, intensity, heavy. They see the light and truth. Hey, sunflower. So you could be a dark character. But you have light radiating off of you. And you need to be of light to cast a shadow anyway. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this message. Their truest feelings about you. Ooh. This person is stubborn. But I also feel like when they stubbornly choose you, you, you cannot get rid of this person. You cannot get rid of them. Maximus. 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 Maybe they have a lot of people calling them. Cheering them on. Maximus. Maximus. And it's like, that don't even fucking matter no more. They're not addicted to the recognition anymore. It's like, fuck these people. If my baby ain't recognizing me, if my baby ain't by my side, y'all don't, y'all don't exist, peasants. <laughs> I'm getting out of control. But I feel a little cockiness, you know? I feel like this person should feel good about themselves like that because they overcame so much. I overcame what was meant to kill me. Hanging around a lot of people that could be betraying them. Just like Maximus, you know. He was like the general and some of his followers, some of his best fighters betrayed him. Like, fuck. But it also showed him something about him. It showed him something about his power. Check out the gladiator. Maximus, Maximus. I like to listen. And you know what? That is part of my ritual for the Divine Masculine Collective. I do listen to the gladiator soundtrack. If you ever feel like you doubt in your strength, if you ever feel like you need guidance, put on that soundtrack. It's going to just raise your spirits. That warrior, that gladiator, that, I don't know, whatever warrior you resonate with. Apaches. Um... What is the other one? Japanese warriors. All that good stuff. Vikings. This is like Viking energy too. A dragon energy. Mmm. Rognoth. I, had, I love to watch Rognoth. And Rognoth had a special power too, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I'm worthy of living a life of joy and abundance. I'm worthy. My soul is part of my legacy, my emotional needs. I am worthy of living a life of joy and abundance. I tune into divine guidance that brings me peace. That brings me peace, clarity, and understanding into my life existence. That helps me move forward. This is all major arcanas. This should be giving you spiritual goosebumps right now. Spiritual bumps right now. This would be striking a chord within your heart. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. Something about, <coughs> something about the ninth chakra. I feel like the ninth chakra. Something outside the body. The ninth chakra. Connecting us. The ninth chakra is connecting us deeply with divine wisdom, unconditional love, and higher truth. That's what's happening. Divine guidance coming through. And somebody receiving it and using it to make better decisions. Ain't no more going from side to side like no fucking crab. And cancers. 
you could be a cancer energy or this could be planetary energy gemini leos libra taurus aries gemini virgo like everybody's hair right it's giving me wings i'm spinning i'm vibrating even when i'm not moving i'm ascending well i'm i'm, I'm still my, my spirit is still going on right i'm not standing in my own way no more fuck that it's in the stars could be learning about ancestry too the ancestors coming out that warrior blood coming out yeah that's where you you trigger the warrior blood within this person hello <laughs> they facing it all right so i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys so much if you want to claim any of these readings you know what to do like subscribe share hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in another channel message chat to you guys later ciao